dear students i would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of renewable energy sources uh, in this session uh, i'm going to discuss most important question from fifth module with the significance moving on to the discussion before going for a discussion i let you know the brief syllabus content of module 5 module 5 consists of two major major topics first one is wave energy sea wave energy and the second one is called otec it is nothing but ocean thermal energy conversion system so what i have done is i have collected few question papers which is uh, very uh, important for your uh, practice and uh, according to the topic i will be mentioning the important questions kindly focus on those questions for the forthcoming examination so your confidence level also will be improved now i am going to discuss the question paper itself directly yeah first question first topic is based on sea wave energy now we will discuss about what are the important questions based on the wave power generation wave energy so first question question number 9a discuss the principle and working of sea wave energy explain the working you have to explain the ba basic working principle so what are the drawbacks of sea wave energy conversion you will get 6 marks if you write the answer properly similarly uh, question number 9c 9c is also belong to wave energy only with a neat diagram explain the oscillating water column device for harnessing sea wave energy there are different devices which will be helpful for harnessing energy from the sea, sea wave one of the example is oscillating water column type device uh, similarly uh, question number 10b is belong to the first part that is what are the advantages and disadvantages of c wave power that's also important okay these are the few questions uh, came from uh, module 5 especially uh, from the topic wave energy so don't leave any topic that is another humble suggestion at least you please go through that so that you can answer it effectively then question another question paper so you have to explain discuss the discuss about the devices used for c wave energy there are different devices available prepare a checklist explain with the help of neat diagrams okay another one is brief on advantages and disadvantages of wave energy it's also a simple question pros and cons you have to explain now another question so what are the uh, limp, uh, principles of sea wave energy and you have to mention the uh, drawbacks uh, similarly what are the advantages and disadvantages of sea wave power explain the limitations of sea wave power fine okay next you write a brief note on method of harnessing energy from the wave so that's also another important question so you'll be getting 20 marks from this 16 marks will be getting from this because it's a 15 scheme okay so yeah one module i think for 15 scheme one module uh, they will be getting 16 marks 16 into 5 is something but 80 okay so it's suitable for uh, the 2015 scheme students however these questions are important another one is explain the devices harnessing wave energy right advantages of wave power so that's important yes these are the important questions i hope you got got an idea about what are the major topics which you have to focus especially from module 5 because all the questions are simple now i'll be moving on to other segment otec ocean thermal energy conversion system see if i talk about the otec look at the first question paper Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of ocean thermal energy conversion you will be getting 6 marks uh, similarly uh, explain the otec and explain the basic uh, basic rankine cycle and its working uh, it, it it carries the weightage of 6 marks then explain the applications of otec in addition to produce electricity yes that is also easy questions only next is 9a with a neat diagram explain otec rankine cycle 9b 9c list the benefits of measure the value of otec 10a list the applications of otec next is 10c explain the working principle of closed cycle otec there are two type open type and closed type you have to study that 
Okay, these are the important topic which you have to focus more because one or another way a question will be repeated in, in your examination as well. So another question, ten A explain the principle of Vortex, explain the ranking cycle. Then ten B uh, explain the working of Vortex with the help of a neat block diagram. What are the advantages, disadvantages, and benefits of Vortex? So easily you can score sixteen marks, full marks you can score. Another one. So explain nine C. Explain open cycle and closed cycle of Vortex. Okay. Then 10B, explain the basic OTEC hybrid cycle. Then what are the advantages and disadvantages of OTEC? These are the easy questions only. So another question. Explain open cycle and closed cycle of OTEC. Uh, similarly, explain the basic hybrid cycle, pros and cons of OTEC that you can easily manage. So, uh, in this session, I have discussed the most important questions which you can expect from module 5. And I have elaborated uh, with respect to the topic. Okay, questions which uh, can expect based on the uh, topic I have already mentioned. If you have any doubts, please put up in the comment box. I'm eager to answer back. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.